everybody. JK Calloway here. Let's jump on, jumping into a brand new season of The Handmaid's Tale. Season 5, Episode 1, series premiere. It's called Morning. Because, yeah, I mean, last night was interesting. Remind me never to piss off Elizabeth. What's her name? I don't remember her name right now. I can't get Swank out of my head. And it's not even the right name. That's Hillary. Shoe. No. What's her name? I can't. Oh my, my brain died, god! So. Moss. I'm the worst. Anyway, never piss off Elizabeth Moss because eventually she won't get you. Plus, she's a Scientologist in real life. Yeah. But yeah, last season, uh, so much shit went down. Uh, she got out. Offered got out. I shouldn't even call her Offered anymore, obviously. Dude. June got out. And she got to Canada. She's still there, presumably. And uh, found a way to kill Fred. Yeah. One hell of a cathartic moment. And holy shit deserved. Because, uh, yeah. Ugh, ugh, ugh. This, this show really doesn't paint men in a good light. No, it doesn't. There are good men. Whoa. Fuck you. I'm good enough. I thought you were talking about the show. No, me. Personally. I take the shit personally. I don't want a handmaid. Okay. Can we have one? No. Why did you put one on the table? I didn't. You dick. I'm a decent enough man. Know how I know? We have a sponsor. It's right behind her head. I don't need to dodge. But yeah. Movie Palette. They're supporting the channel, which is awesome. It's those, you know, every frame of the movie on a canvas. Yep. Guess what movie it is. And you'll win a prize. Yep. you got to give yourself the prize. Yep. But if you do like those and then you're super nerdy like us, go to moviepellet.com. <laughs> Promo code JKREACTS15. You get 15% off everything there. They are super fun. Like, I, yeah, I've always liked those cool. things. We've already, before they were ever a sponsor, I think we got the Big Lebowski for your uncle. Yeah. For Christmas one year. So, yeah. good people. They support the channel. You support us. I don't there know. We go. Yeah. It's Synergy. Back to the show. There's a lot going on. And uh, one thing I did see um, that disappoints me is uh, Alexis Bledel is not going to be on the season. Yeah. She didn't want to do it anymore. It was too much for her. Which, oh, I understand. understandable. Jesus Christ, the shit they put that character through. And then where she had to go mentally. I get it. So hopefully she's well. Hopefully we hear what happens to her character. I don't think her character died. I don't believe. I think she was there killing Fred, if memory serves. I don't remember. But I'm sure we'll find out quickly. But there's still a lot going on. Like uh, everything in Canada, everything in Gilead. You know, Serena is clearly not going to take this well, even though she's not the biggest Fred fan in the world. You know, I think she's still going to make this some kind of rallying cry. And maybe even to the point where she does get some power in Gilead. You know? Oh, but she's a woman. Yeah, but a story is more powerful than your bullshit. Look at the story, like, you know. I'm just saying. Like, it doesn't matter that she's a woman. She's a really powerful and smart woman. Yeah, but she, and she helped start the whole movement and then got shut the fuck down. Like, Frankly, by choice. She, she went along with it for a while. Right? She was like, alright, fine. This is what I want. This is what needs to happen because we need to breed and Blah, 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 right, blah. but then the and whole then, reading thing and like oh it yeah, just, it, like, it hit a wall for sure. And she's she spoke up and she's not she she lost a pinky. She's gonna keep speaking up, but now she'll have sympathy on her side and probably the support of well, we already saw she had the support of people in yes. Canada. Yeah, you know, zealot. There's zealots everywhere. Some people just need something to believe in for some fucking reason. One day we'll evolve. Uh, you can believe in yourself. You believe in the people you care about. It's an option. You don't need an old book. Morning. We're, we're not religious people. So all of this is just the worst. But let's find out what season five brings. Uh, we already heard season six will be the final season. So I'm scared. 
they're gonna set up a lot of things to really go boom. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Just reliving it. All I have to do is dream. Only trouble is she lives. I'm dreaming my life. Probably cut off his finger, didn't they? <laughs> Your like, imagine hey. yourself in her situation. What wouldn't you, you do to that mother? What the fuck? What happened? I did it. He's so I killed him. You shouldn't admit to anyone. My hair is. I'm sorry, fucking. <laughs> no, 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 I won't be going anywhere until I speak with you. You are Will. still in ICC custody. Move to the door, or I'll have my men move you. This is about my husband. Because I haven't heard from him. I don't know your husband, ma'am. Mrs. Waterford, I'm afraid I have some terrible news. This morning, Canadian border enforcement agents recovered a body. It's your husband. He's dead. I'm very sorry. Looks like you're with this lot. Where can I get you? Juice and coffee to start? Yeah. Bloody hands. Bloody hands. They don't tell you this part. Murder makes you super hungry. You get an appetite after that shit. You know what I can't stop thinking about? My mistress. Like, her face when she hears a whistle. And she beg for her life. Not if we cut out her tongue. <laughs> I don't think June cares about anyone else. No, she doesn't. Oh, okay. I can get a lot more. Short of bringing those people you would like to kill up to Canada, what do you plan on doing with all the guns? You think Nick can get her to the border? By her mistress? Yeah. Mrs. fucking Radcliffe. Yeah. Could he? Where's Emily? Mm. Okay. She's not here. But we're here. He was your monster. Yep. And we tore him apart for you. Mm-hmm. Now it is my turn. You know what they do to spies, Danielle. They crucify them, they hang them on fucking telephone poles. It's a very yep. different situation. Fred was in Canada. If you can get him to Canada, she might be down. You made your choice in the woods. Now you're just a fucking coward. Where were you? Did something happen to Fred's plane? No. He was involved in a prisoner exchange at the border. So you sent him back to be killed? You knew exactly what would happen no. to him. No. And I'm sure that you got your 30 pieces of silver, no doubt. I traded Fred for 22 political prisoners. Two things arrived at the ICC detention center in an envelope addressed to you this morning. It's his wedding ring. Serena, they also sent a finger, a severed finger. Which finger was it? His ring finger. Left ring finger. This wasn't Gilead. How do you know that? Because it was June Osborne. She went back to Gilead. 
to find out Lydia if she can. Mm -hmm. It's what she needed to do. I can find her. June. No, I can fix this. June, shut the fuck up. She's gone. I need to do something. What's going on? Listen to me. I can't wait. I can't wait for the boots on the stairs. What did you do? I cannot live like that. I'm sorry. No. I'm sure you don't just want I can't to command your water burn. I'll swear to it. Well, you said. She, she, she doesn't need to talk about Sir. Come on, let's go. Sir. I'm thinking no. To me. Unfortunately, as they say, this is not my department. Or maybe fortunately, these events did not occur in Canada. We appreciate you coming in. Have a good night. <laughs> there can't just be no punishment. I'll be citing you for transporting an unsecured biological sample. It's $88 you can pay downstairs. <laughs> oh my god! There won't be a Canadian investigation in the matter. Why? <laughs> what more evidence do they need? It seems the it was half a mile itself. away. Was Do you even know what she is capable of? Why don't you take a good hard look at exactly what she is capable of? <laughs> yep. Oh, okay. It's people vigil, vigil for her, support for her. But with you, Serena. Thank you. Like, find another book. There are great books out there. With parables and everything. I'm taking my husband home to bury him. Uh, no. Home to Gilead? What if her name has power? And that will be respected. How's she doing? Uh, yeah, she's fine. Dude, could you possibly? She's not, she's not fine. She's with us. I'm taking a fucking win. All right, I'm taking a fucking win. So take that to her. We're celebrating. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Oh, buddy. The handmaid killing her commander. I, I don't think they'll be able to let that stand. Well done. You did something terrible. That needed to be done. May he rot in hell. Praise me. <laughs> Don't let the bastards grind you down. Mm. So he knew what it said. Well, okay. I mean, I assume they, you know, beat the hell out of that body in that moment. I didn't realize they, like, Played it. Well, in parts like part of the leg, part of the chest. <sighs> Fuck them. Whatever. And I like that little speech to what's his nuts from Parenthood gave. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Fuck that guy. Let him rot in hell. Don't let the bastards grind you down. That was cool. Just give her that. Yep. You know. I know you feel like shit. You're losing everything because of it. Losing your mind, but it's good. Deserved. Yeah. So, uh, what's next? Serena apparently decides she wants to go back to Gilead. Assumes they won't hurt her because she's pregnant. So she can bury Fred. But I feel like she's going to stay. Right? She's got that window of opportunity while she's pregnant. That they right. will not hurt her. Right. right. That she can build some equity get some follow a following maybe even like round up some of the crazy canadians to come with her you know what i mean as like a barrier or something and maybe take over some, like i don't know i don't know she's she's planning something she's planning she's planning her survival for sure but more than that but she's so ambitious i don't know oh, yeah. if it's just sir, like well, survival mm -hmm. first. Right, but... Because she doesn't feel like she's safe in Canada. And that's totally understandable. Right. You know? Go to France. Go to Europe. She's a prisoner right now. Yeah, but... Uh, she's got a choice. Charges will be... Once the charges are all settled and sorted out, 
because she's she'll be in prison. That's not how he was talking. Like, I don't know. I don't think she gets to choose where to go, and but she does get to choose where to bury Fred, with you know taking him home. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how that goes. Plus, they're making the whole Emily thing a storyline. That's surprising. Like, I don't know if that's going to be a catalyst. They're just going to use it as a catalyst. Like, you know, Emily June's... Emily's caught and is dead. Well, no. I mean, like, June's going to take Emily's example. And be like, All right, you know what? I got to go back, too. Right. I need to kill more people. You know, Aunt Lydia needs to get it. If Emily, you know, I got to make sure Emily gets it done. If she doesn't get it done, I'll get it done. Serena needs to get it. Look, everyone there, you know, like, so Manny. I mean, the only one who's cool is, you know, Sam. No, he wasn't nope, Sam. No, he wasn't Sam. On West Wing, what was he? Bradley. Well, his name is Bradley Whitford. Whitford. What was he on West Wing? I gotta rewatch West Wing. Yeah. I'm gonna find time to rewatch West I Wing. I rewatch that. Bitch! Oh, you're biking right now. I will cut you. Do you want to start watching Vikings with me uh, for Patreon? Because you're pretty much caught up to me. I'm not caught up to you. If you're I catch close. Up, if I catch up, catch up to you, maybe. I only watch two a week. You're watching one a night. Not tonight. Why not? We're watching this? We go off on tangents. It's a great channel. And she yawns all the time in the wrap-up. It's almost constant. And we got to watch one more episode because they put out two. Jerks, stop doing that. Have it weekly or pull a Netflix. Whole thing at the same time. Stop with this. Ooh, here's five. Here's the first five in the first week, and then the final three in the final week. Blah, 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 blah. I want more out of Moira and Luke. They are just inconsequential characters for a couple seasons now. They were very important the first few seasons, and now they're just kind of like, well, I am a Canadian now. And I am scared of Jew. Like, for seasons now. It's like, those were huge characters. Especially Moira. Like, why doesn't Moira want to go back there and just start stabbing? Moira had a... She had a different experience. She did. She became... And she... Like a, like a whore, basically. Like, whore, yeah. She worked at a whorehouse or she, something, right? Yeah, it was a whorehouse. So, right? a brothel. Brothel. Let's be proper. Let's be cute. A pillow house, if you will. A pillow house. Um, <laughs> Ew. I don't like that. She was able to move past it. She wants June to move past it. And it, she's got a life, and she's safe, and she's secure, and that's where she's at. And while well, she can on. empathize... I'm trying to remember. Did she ever get placed in a house? Like, she went through the training, obviously, her and June together. Yeah, I thought she was. I don't remember if she got placed but, in a house. Or if she just right. kept on acting up, so they put her in the, the pillow house, as you put it. Yeah, so So maybe, yeah, she had a totally different experience. And she's safe and she's secure now, right? There's yeah. no need to open up those wounds. There's no need to go back to it. June's broken. June's completely fucking broken. And I completely understand where... Moira and Luke. husband Luke. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Luke is just oblivious. Uh, he couldn't imagine, even if he's told beat for beat, no, what June went through. Nope. He could never fuck. Like, I could nope. never fucking imagine. I can't wrap my head around. No, nope. you know, you. I'm sure you can imagine being on a bed, being held down, and put in a room know. until you're needed. Like you, you know. We're not that far away from that, unfortunately. Because America is stupid and believes in books and thinks books should be laws. I will ki I will die happily for you. It won't happen till I'm dead. Just so you know. Okay. But I'm real squishy. It, it won't take much for to kill me. Okay. I, I'll apologize in advance, but I will die for you. Thank you, husband. Wow. No appreciation. Men are shit. Got it. Thanks. This show's great. This show's awesome. Teaches the right lessons. Thank you guys for watching the comments. Let us know what you thought of the episode. Uh, we'll jump into number two here in a bit. Um, it's called Ballet, which is an interesting-ass title. Because there's going to be a dance. Um, but I don't think so. 
Well, we'll see. I don't, I don't mean a ballet dance. I mean, something else is happening. But yeah, it, I mean, still excellent. I don't know where it's going this time. Like, there's so many ways it could go. Yeah. Is it going to end up with Serena versus June? I don't know. I think that might be a, season, a final season situation. Especially if Serena goes back to Gilead and gets a little bit of power. Either way, it's all scary and gross. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. We appreciate you. We'll talk to you next time. Cheers.